This is why some big cats are black. Why would a leopard trade in its golden coat for a cloak of midnight black? Is it trying to play hide-and-seek in the shadows of the jungle? Did Mother Nature decide to give some big cats a special ninja outfit? These questions have puzzled and fascinated wildlife lovers for generations. Black panthers, those sleek, dark big cats, carry an air of mystery. Are they a separate species, a genetic accident, or an evolutionary masterstroke? Today, as a wildlife enthusiast and big wildcat fan, I'm going to unravel this mystery in simple terms. Get ready for a journey into jungles and genetics. This is why some big cats are black. The not-so-secret identity of black panthers Let's clear up a common confusion right away. A black panther isn't a new species of big cat at all. In fact, when you hear black panther, it usually either means a melanistic, all-black, leopard, or an all-black jaguar. In Asia and Africa, a black panther is typically a leopard. In the Americas, it's a jaguar. They look solid black at a glance, but if you see one in good light or up close in a photo, you might notice something amazing. Faint ghostly spots or rosettes hidden under the black fur. Yes, even black panthers have spots. They're just covered up by so much black pigment that the usual tan background color barely shows. Where do these dark big cats live? Mostly in thick tropical forests. Black leopards have been found in the lush rainforests of Southeast Asia – think of places like Malaysia or Java – and black jaguars roam the dense jungles of Central and South America. These environments are dim and shadowy, a perfect stage for a cat in a black coat. In more open, sunny habitats, like savannas or sparse woodlands, you hardly ever see a black big cat. For example, in the thick forests of Malaysia, almost all the leopards are black. Whereas in open areas like India's grasslands or African savannas, the usual spotted yellowish coat dominates. This is a clue that being black might help these cats in certain places, but more on that later. Oh, and if you're wondering, are there black lions or black tigers? Lions, no. A true black melanistic lion has never been confirmed. Tigers, sort of. In one Indian reserve, some Bengal tigers have super thick stripes that make them look nearly black. Scientists call it pseudomelanism. It turns out a single gene mutation, in a gene called TOC-PEP, caused these tigers dark broad stripes. So while not pure black, a tiger can occasionally sport a very dark coat. But the classic black panthers are really leopards and jaguars with an overdose of dark pigment. The genetic quirk that turns cats black So how does a spotted cat turn into a black cat? The answer lies in genetics. Basically, a tiny change in the cat's DNA that affects color. Scientists call this change melanism, which means having extra melanin, the dark pigment that colors skin, hair, and fur. Think of melanin as the natural paint that gives colors to animal coats. In a normal leopard or jaguar, melanin is balanced, so you see golden fur with black spots. In a melanistic individual, the melanin dial is turned way up coloring almost all the fur black. Interestingly, leopards and jaguars developed melanism through different genetic glitches. In jaguars, a mutation in a gene called MC1R melanocortin-1 receptor, acts like a dominant switch. If a jaguar inherits just one copy of this black gene, it can be black. Leopards are the opposite. Their melanism is linked to a gene called ASIP, a guti signaling protein and is a recessive trait. That means a leopard needs two copies of the black fur gene, one from each parent, to be melanistic. If it has just one, the dominant normal spot gene will win, and the cat stays spotted. This explains an interesting family fact. A pair of spotted leopard parents can occasionally have a surprise black cub if both parents carried the hidden recessive gene, and a pair of black leopards can have a spotted cub. In jaguars, because the black gene is dominant, you tend to see the black trait passed on more directly. 
Yet, not all jaguars are black, which is a puzzle we'll address soon. Importantly, being black doesn't erase the cat's spots. A black panther is essentially a leopard or jaguar with a black coat overlay. If you could magically remove some of the black pigment, you'd see the typical leopard rosettes or jaguar rosettes underneath. People have noticed that, under bright sunlight or flash photography, a black panther's patterned coat becomes visible as a shadowy pattern. Now, how rare are these black-coated big cats? Not extremely common, but not one in a million either. Roughly 10% of wild leopards and jaguars are born with melanism on average. Evolution's Dark Advantage – Why Black Fur Alright, we know what makes these cats black, now let's ask why. Why would evolution favor a black coat in environments like thick forests? The fact that melanistic leopards and jaguars appear more often in dark, dense habitats gives a big clue. It suggests that, in those places, being black gives a survival advantage. Here are a few possible perks that a black coat might provide. Camouflage in the shadows. In jungles and forests with lots of shade, a black cat can blend in like a living shadow. Prey animals have a hard time spotting a silent black panther slinking between the trees at night or at dawn. For a hunter, staying hidden is a huge advantage. Likewise, being dark might also help these cats hide from larger predators or even humans in some cases. Nighttime Hunting Superpower Many of these big cats are nocturnal or crepuscular. A dark coat could make them nearly invisible in the moonlight. Imagine a spotted yellow leopard moving at night. It might still be visible. But a black leopard, under the same conditions, is almost completely concealed. Thermal regulation. Dark fur absorbs heat. In cooler, misty forests or higher elevations, a black coat might help an animal stay warmer by soaking up whatever sunlight filters through. Think of it like wearing a black sweater on a chilly day. You feel the warmth. For a big cat that sleeps during the day, having a heat-absorbing coat could be beneficial in damp, cool environments. Other possible perks There are hints that black cats could have stronger immune systems or disease resistance linked with the genes that make their fur black. This isn't proven yet, but it's a fascinating idea. Perhaps the same mutation that turns the fur black also tweaks some immune genes for the better. Additionally, melanin, the pigment, can protect against UV radiation. Now, evolution is all about trade-offs and what works best in each environment. The persistence of black coats among wild cats suggests those advantages listed above outweighed any downsides, at least in certain habitats. But there can be downsides. One interesting one is communication. Many spotted cats have white markings on their ears or tail tip, sort of like a built-in signal to other cats. A black cat lacks those high-contrast white spots, possibly making it harder to signal to friends or mates in low light. It's like losing a little flag that says, follow me or back off. This could be a minor disadvantage of melanism. So, evolution balances the scale. If the camouflage and other benefits greatly help survival, the trait sticks around, even if it has small costs. That's probably why we see about 10% of these cat populations being black. Myths, legends, and real-life sightings It's worth mentioning that black big cats have captured human imagination in a big way. Black panthers feature in folklore, art, and even superhero comics. Marvel's Black Panther anyone? Because they are rarer and mostly nocturnal, seeing a Black Panther in the wild is a special, almost mystical experience. I remember the first time I caught a glimpse of a black leopard. It felt like I was seeing a shadow with eyes. People in areas where they live sometimes regard them with awe or superstition, calling them ghost cats or shadow cats. Historically, Many folks didn't even realize that a black panther was just a leopard or jaguar. They thought it might be a different species altogether. Now we know the truth, it's the same species just wearing a different color outfit. In India, the famous author Rudyard Clipping wrote about Bagheera, the black panther in the Jungle Book. That character was based on real black leopards from India's forests. 
which were well known to locals as cunning, smart, and stealthy creatures. In Latin America, the indigenous stories sometimes speak of mysterious black jaguars ruling the jungle night. From a scientific perspective, getting solid evidence of black panthers has been exciting. Camera traps, motion-activated cameras in the wild, have snapped photos of black leopards in Africa, Kenya for example, after decades of no confirmed sightings. These photos made headlines because they proved that these almost mythical-seeming cats still roam wild in some places. To wrap it up, some big cats are black because of quirks of genetics that evolution ran with. A tiny DNA change leads to extra black pigment, and in the right environment, that shadowy coat became a helpful trait for survival. Over time, natural selection kept this trait around in dark forests where it gave these cats an edge. It's a brilliant example of how adaptable life can be. Leopards and jaguars don't need to change their spots. Instead, a few of them just turned the lights off on their coat and carried on, quietly outmaneuvering their prey in the gloom. Next time you see a picture of a black panther, you'll know you're looking at nature's stealth mode for big cats. It's not magic or mystery, though it certainly feels magical. It's genetics and evolution working together. A black panther is a leopard or jaguar with a genetic twist, honed by the environment. And boy, did that twist make them look stunning. In summary, some big cats are black due to melanism, a genetic trait that loads their fur with black pigment. This trait likely evolved because it gives advantages like better camouflage in dark forests and possibly other benefits. Black panthers are not their own species but rather leopards or jaguars, and a few other cats, wearing nature's coolest costume. It's a great reminder that even among the fiercest predators, sometimes it pays to dress in all black.